Hello everybody, welcome to Lisa Simmons Art. Today I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour on a 10 by 10 stretched canvas. I've already put my base coat of black on here to save time for the video. These are the colors I'm going to be using. They're actually colors that are left over from an earlier pour I did today. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a series of puddle pours. I do have spot on treadmill lubricant added into each of these cups so that we can get some nice cells, hopefully. <laughs> All the colors that I'm using will be listed in the video description. And for those of you that have never done a Dutch pour, you need a blow dryer to do it. I have my blow dryer set on medium speed because for my particular blow dryer, the high speed just is too strong and blows the paint right off the canvas. So you might want to test your blow dryer out before you, you do it just to see how strong it is. I'm sure I have more than enough paint on here, but I just kind of wanted to use this up. You don't have to worry about doing this like extremely neatly or anything because it's all going to get blown on all over the canvas anyway. You're not going to see any spills or drips. Okay, now I'm going to put a dam of black paint in front of this. And what I'm going to be doing is taking the blow dryer and blowing the black paint over top of this. And then I'm going to be blowing it back that way so that we can get some kind of interesting pattern and hopefully lots of beautiful cells. Okay, I'm going to put a torch on this just to get out any air bubbles. I did put Spot on Treadmill lubricant into the black as well. Okay, I've got my blow dryer. Well, that's really pretty. I love those colors together. I'm loving that. Now I'm going to take my torch and go over this again and pop any remaining air bubbles and see if any more cells come out of this. I use a propane torch, but you can use any kind of torch, butane or propane. It really doesn't matter. It's really cool. I like this area right here. I like the lacy areas the best. So there you have it. There's my Dutch pour. I'd like to thank you for watching and stay tuned for close-ups. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.